So it does run really good though. And we just need to fix some stuff so that it's mint. But I mean, for a thousand dollars, you can't really expect too much, right? My insurance went down before I was paying roughly 400, 450 bucks a month for the Outback, uh, just the Outback, right? That's not including the Lexus, which is about 380 on its own. Um, so before we we're paying about that much. Uh, and now after adding this to the policy, I'm making it my primary car. Uh, the insurance went down to 275 a month for all three cars together. So the Miata, the Outback, and the Lexus are all 275 bucks a month together just because I made this my primary car. So, like, I mean, this thing paid for itself. You know, all the problems that it has, whatever, even if it doesn't run, I'll keep it in my insurance just for the fucking lower insurance costs because it made the insurance costs go way down. Your turn signal, oh my god. God damn it. I'm not used to it yet. Oh yeah, I don't even need to fucking go in a second. Just put it in neutral. That <laughs> goddamn turn signal again. So they don't have the gasket kit that I need here. Uh, it would take them three days to order it for 150 bucks. Not worth it. I can get it online for way cheaper for the whole gasket kit. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I got my short shifter coming in. Uh, I got a whole bunch of parts coming in already. So I might as well just add a gasket kit to the list. Um, I need a new radiator. Uh, not a big deal on these cars. They're extremely cheap. You can run a fucking eBay radiator on these, no problem. So. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pull oh, yeah. some parts off the Trapiata. That's my buddy Panda with the white Subaru. <laughs> took, it took me a while to remember about the turn signal. Drives pretty good. It does, it does. For, for a grand, you can't really expect much out of a Miata. Alright, go for a ride along in Steve's Miata. Okay. <laughs> Left is fun. Oh. Ah! Sorry. That's the sc scariest part about this neighborhood. It rubbed on everything, by yeah. the way. Rubbing's fun, though. <laughs> Miata videos coming soon. Yeah, we're, we're a Miata channel now. Don't worry, the Subaru's coming back. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm in the search for some uh, people who can rebuild KW suspension. So. Don't worry, we have turbo content too. Zero. Oh yeah, that's right. Where are you? What have you done today so far to? You did. Um. Let's see, I took this off, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> we got rid of the doodaddy box. I, 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 I only just started working on it earlier, but um, I uh, managed to cut the hose off the radiator so I could drain it out. Uh, I just drained most most of the coolant out of it. It still needs a little bit of coolant to be drained out. Um, I just unbolted most of the radiator stuff, but one of the plugs down there is still bolted. I gotta figure out which one it is. Oh, I found it. So I gotta unbolt that and then uh, unplug the fans. And then we can get to work on replacing the radiator. Oh yeah, I have a leaking radiator. So radiator's out. So you think the you think this one's good? Yeah, it should cool. be. I'm gonna pull these brackets off and the fans. Uh -huh. Alright, so we got the fans off of this one, but we realized that our replacement one is 
slightly different than this one. So yeah. we're just gonna go to the parts store and cop another one of these. All right, what's up guys? So it's the next day, back here in the garage. But today we're only installing a short shifter. Um, <clears throat> if you guys want a how-to tutorial on how to do this, look it up. There's a million videos. Right now we're using the Beavis uh, Motorsport short shifter. Um, I ordered a Ralco RZ one, but they sent me a Beavis one. But I did my research, and I guess the Beavis one's better anyway, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, fuck it. So, so yeah, we're gonna throw the short shifter in today. Quick little video for you guys. So he pulled it out of the car. It's missing like four bushings. This bushing right here, still reusable, still good. So we're gonna use that, but it's supposed to have a little metal ring underneath it, but it's half of it disintegrated into the transmission. So how thin that is. Yeah, Damn. so I mean, I don't really need that extra metal ring. We're gonna just run without it. It's not that big a deal, it's just a little metal thing. So so this shifter, piece of shit shifter. Um, so the, the, if you guys have ever taken apart a Miata shifter, it's supposed to be like two bushings right underneath this, mm -hmm. and they're not, they're not there at all. All right, so I got this bushing right here. Like I said, it's supposed to have a metal thing right there. It doesn't, so we're gonna have to work around that should come with all the hardware that you need if you don't just reuse the stock hardware but be warned uh, it might not the stock hardware might not fit because it's kind of um, it needs to be longer because there's this adapter plate that goes on top oh yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this there's these separated washers they're called lock washers and then they just drop right there when you tighten it down those will flatten out and then um, if you were if you're doing this you probably already know what that is so our viewers are smart yeah, we're turning this into a into a toge machine, and this is going to be my daily too because my Outback is down, and and uh, you know driving it 25,000 miles a year, it's expensive, man. Just to reiterate this, you do not need to tighten these a lot. Just take your extension off, get them hand tight all the way down, and then like like this, like hand tight, just like that, you know. Like on, just at the extension, not your socket wrench. And then after you do that, because again, this is all aluminum, boys and girls. So don't tighten it too much. So you just do a little bit of a, like that. It's literally like five or 10 pound feet. It's really, there you go. That is, okay. Okay, that's first. Yeah. That's third. <laughs> That's Let me put the shift knob on here. Because you can probably, you probably notice like what gear it's in a lot better. My Dragon Ball knob is cracking, oh no. Oh. It just broke. Fuck! It's okay. We were, no. just, we were just talking about how these are the best, but they, they do, <coughs> they do break if you over tighten them, so you gotta be careful. Um, but, okay, time to get a new one. That was like, I might be able to... <laughs> I might be able to send it back in and get a free a free one. We'll see. One All right, so I guess we are using the Rocco shift knob for now. Damn. That does look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, but like I I. I... What the fuck you is just that? broke that shit too. <laughs> okay, I didn't know about that. I didn't know that that comes off. <laughs> so okay, so okay, so guys, uh, be sure to tighten this part. I didn't even know about that. So, just the tip. I'm just, I'm just taking this. Oh shit. Okay, just making sure that nothing's straight. Okay, so I did, fuck, man, I got strong ass hands because I broke the thread on this too. <laughs> Damn, bro. How to break shift knobs with Brian? Yeah. So you just tighten it down. Not and too tight. Don't be me. Be careful. Um. What peaches? Okay. Yeah, the cat's calling us. I think I gotta go. That's gonna wrap it up for today. We're gonna get back to you guys when the radiator comes in, and then we're gonna start taking care of all these other parts that are going on there. But uh, yeah, we're super excited to have Miatas. Can't wait to get on the track and start drifting, and I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy those videos a ton too, so we're stoked to be pumping content out again. If you guys liked the video, be sure to subscribe for more, and we'll be back when the radiator's here, so deuces.